the dude, Mr. Cool Crew, and then uh, we're back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about um, we'll, we'll we'll go back. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me restart that. Hey, what to do, Mr. Crew, Mr. Cool Crew, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about the G Grand Wagoneer and Wagoneer, because I just I just watched it yesterday, and I thought I should share with it with the Mr. Cool family. And okay. That's good. Let's jump right in. So I just heard that the Grand Wagoneer was going to come out at some point next year or this summer. This summer. And uh, it looks nice. It really does. You know, it really does. It, it really does. So it's basically an $87,000 SUV because with all the options and all the stuff and specs, you know, with the 340 394 horsepower uh, SRT engine put with a top speed at 190, 6,000 pounds, uh, tolls about 10,000 pounds, so that's basically half of that. Uh, the Wagoneer is a little less, it's a little cheap, it's like the same price of a 2015 Tahoe from, Grand, for, from uh, General Motors. But the Tahoe was, uh, it was a thing, it was before it's time. The Tahoe was very before it's time. I, I really enjoy those big, massive trucks. I really do. Don't get me wrong. They're nice. They have nice room. They have good, they have good trunk space, good storage space, good comfort in the seats, good quality in the steering. They're not bad, but I'm... I'm going for the Grand Wagoneer for this one. Sure, it's gonna cost a little bit out of out of the price range, but it's worth it. It's worth the wait. And I just heard the new Dodge Dakota was going to be released as well. There's gonna be a lot of good cars to come out for 2021. If you haven't subscribed already, I I encourage you to do so to subscribe to the, to the Mystical Channel and join. The Mr. Cool family, aka Mr. Kenneth Jones, that's me, that's who that, that's who run this. Um what I want to talk about next. Uh Toyota Supra. Welcome back. The Toyota Supra is back. The Toyota Supra has been back since last year. So it's been a year since the Supra came back. It looks great. It looks nice. It doesn't have the two Jay-Z. That's the sad part. But the best part is that it that a zero to sixty time is three point nine seconds and it has a top speed over one sixty or higher. I'm not really sure what the top speed is, but I know that the zero to sixty time is three point nine seconds. It's just a two door sports car coupe, if however you want, however you call it. Just like they did back in ninety eight. You see back in ninety eight, that was the R Z Mark IV edition. This is the Mark V G R. The more most powerful Supra since the first Supra, the Mark One, which just came out in the 1990s or 80s, just like the Toyota MR2, etc., etc. Moving on, the uh, the Mustang. The Mustang's been around for 50 years, and it still tries to make it a better muscle car. It's a pony car. It's the only car that started the muscle car craze. Now, if you wanted to get the, if you want to get the GT edition, good luck. They're not. They're not. They're not as fast as a big as the is, is the big V8 edition. I don't want y'all to get the base model because it's not cool. It's not fast and it's not loud. Certain people like loud cars. Some people make like small uh, quiet. Me, on the other hand, I'm more like a Tesla guy. I mean, don't get me wrong. All cars are different. Small, big, long, short, fast, slow. Some cars have more horsepower than less than others. I mean, look at the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Back in the day, they made, a, they made the best Eclipse ever made for the Fast and Furious film. But now they turn it into a piece of crap. It looks horrible. It looks bad. They should get rid of it. 
et cetera, et cetera. I don't like the crossover. I don't like crossovers in general. They're not good. They're not my favorite. They're not big enough. I am six foot foot. I am six foot two. I am six two, and I don't think I can feel comfortable riding around in a, let's say, a Cadillac XT4 or an SRX. It just makes you feel like an idiot. I'm more of a coupe kind of guy. Makes you feel like, makes you feel like I own the own the world. But now moving on. There was a show that I enjoyed that I, that I wanted to talk to you guys about. There's a new show on Cartoon Network that I just seen, and I thought I should review that as well. It is called, what is it called? It's called Emmett from Earth. It starts some point this month, but some of you guys are adults, so you might, you don't watch, you guys probably don't watch Cartoon Network, so, hey, I watch Adult Swim. I like Adult Swim. It's funny. It's hilarious. Just like Family Guy was back in 99. American Dad. Love the show. Stan Smith. He's one heck of a dude. He knows how to make people laugh when he starts to do whatever it is that he does. Peter Griffin. Same thing. Same concept. Same show. Well, different shows. Same actors. What's the difference? One lives in Quahog, one lives in I don't know where he lives, but hey, he's he's somewhere. But uh the Corvette C C eight. Now the Corvette C eight came out early later this uh last year, back in twenty twenty. I didn't know I was gonna drop a new Corvette, but they did. It's been fifty years since they made the C8, well, it's been almost a couple of years since they dropped a new, another one. I was hoping it was going to make a C9 by August. I was going to say, like, sometime before my 21st birthday. Oh, yeah, announcements. On my 21st birthday, I got something special to, sh to tell you guys that day. So make sure you all get ready for that. And I got, and there will be... I will have a, this is, I will have a, um, well, we will have a little celebration here on the channel. So make sure y'all get ready for that. And, um, the Tom and Jerry movie, it's bad. It's horrible. It's, it doesn't look, it doesn't, it's not what I expected to be. I thought it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be like rememberable like they did back in the 1940s, but a, that was over 80 to 90 years ago, so they can just uh, toss that out and move on with that. But uh, I guess they thought that it was going to make a new movie. Like, oh, yeah, let's make a new movie, and then we're going to make it better. We're going to make it so everybody can, like, oh, this is not funny. This is this is, this is is bad. This is, Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see a Tom and Jerry movie, and people are just criticizing it and not giving any praise. I wouldn't. I was. I was thinking about. I was gonna see it, but I guess I didn't. I didn't because I thought I was like, "Hey, this movie might be good. It might be funny." It's a kids' movie, guys. It's not really for anybody to see. It's only for like children under ten, or under or under like fifteen or whatever. I thought it was gonna be for everybody, but hey, it's really not. I don't know, but I don't know if y'all seen that. But hey, if y'all see it, hey, let let me know in the comments. Drop a comment down below and tell me if you've seen it or not. But um, I was thinking I was gonna get me an Xbox One so I can do a little gaming video or I can start a gaming channel. But I don't know. Let me down in the comments if y'all really want me to get a, a, a Xbox One S. Let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do that. Because if y'all want me to do that, then I'll do it. But I'm only, I'm just so you know, I'm only doing this for you guys because you guys are the um, the heart and soul of this channel. So keep the keep keep dropping likes, keep keep showing love. Don't don't ever stop and keep keep um. Make sure you subscribe because I, I need more subscribers. I'm at 24 and I need to get up to at least uh, 900. That's the goal. The goal is to get less than 1,000 subscribers. And if we can do that, we might have to do a uh, 900 subscriber celebration. Once I get up to 900 subscribers, I want you guys to, well, 
You already know the deal. But, uh, hey. What else can we talk about? Um, well, I, I see that, um, all right, Twisted Metal. All right, yeah, yeah. I used to play Twisted Metal back in my day, Twisted Metal 4. I was terrified of the game. I mean, the game was the game was good. Don't get me wrong. The game was good. I used to play with my brothers back when I was a kid, and that was back in 2007, I think, before Midnight Club Los Angeles came out. <laughs> But um, I think that Twisted Metal was more like a Twisted Metal Four was more like a um, arcade car car combat. It's like a war game. You got Calypso, Minion, Tw uh, Sweet Tooth. You only have certain characters to choose from. Now Twisted Metal Black, I have not played that yet because I didn't own the game. Just like I didn't own Gran Turismo 4, or 6, or 5, I only owned one, and that was uh, Gran Turismo 3, but, uh, yeah, I, that's the only one I played, it was Twisted Metal 4, because Twisted Metal 4, I thought that Twisted Metal 4 was going to be good. Nowadays, I don't even want to play the game because the game is so pixelized. It looked like it came out in 1995, which was the first one, Twisted Metal 1. And then years later, they made Twisted Metal 2, 3, 4, Black, Twisted Metal 2012. You know, they made, a, they made, they made quite a few. But I just 